What's up guys, Pop Pop 101 here. Today we're gonna to be going over the top 10 community voted mods. So let's get started. First off, why don't we spawn in an NPC? You can get a very special one called Millennia made by AO, which actually lets you take control of the NPCs. So for example, all you do is pull the trigger and then pull it again when you're aiming at whatever enemy you want. And you'll notice it stays white except when you aim at an enemy it turns green and then you actually become that enemy and notice obviously i am now looking at well myself and how cool is that and of course we can still go pick up weapons and do all sorts of cool stuff i wonder what happens if i kill myself let's find out okay and i stab myself right in the chest <laughs> I guess, now that I'm dead, <laughs> I'm an NPC. Awesome. And if we select... Oh! And now it looks like we still have all of our normal abilities. So... We're now an NPC. How cool is that? I haven't seen any other mod do NPC possession before. So Millennia is definitely a fantastic one. Let me just make sure that all the abilities work. So, you know what? Why don't we use the dismember one? And... Yeah, I say that it works pretty well. Alright, on to the next one. We have the time stop. So, if we spawn in an enemy NPC, and he gets a nice long look at us, all we need to do is pull the trigger, and they completely freeze. So, come on, try me. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Can't do a single thing. And of course we have our trusty sword right here. Let's see if we can cut a hand off. Didn't think he was going to need it anyways. And to turn time back on. Pull the trigger. And look at that. He lost his hand. Alright, let's try this again. So we have an enemy. All we need to do is pull the trigger. And check out this ability. So basically, if you hit them. Now that I hit him facing that way, the momentum was actually saved, so if we pull the trigger again, he gets blown back in whatever direction he was hitting. And just to show you guys again, of course, we can obviously freeze them, hurt them, and cut their head off, impale them, and obviously he's dead. And there's actually no bugs with this either, which makes it a very, very awesome mod. Now, I hope you guys are paying attention to that first mod, because now we have the Dismember Berserk spell. It's basically, as long as it's equipped, if we punch an enemy or hit them in a certain spot, their limbs obviously go flying. So, if they get in your way, you can hit them and demolish them like normal. But... Punches and kicks actually dismember them. So if we kick them right in the hand, hand gets chopped off. We kick in the head. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to work that well. We kick the head off. We can punch their head off. I wonder if we can throw it off too. Give it to me. No, maybe not. But I believe the force necessary is customizable too. And all you have to do is hit them. Oh, oh, I don't want that arm. So yeah, it's a- Ooh, there's a head. Hey, you're gonna try and hit me with that arm, you don't deserve to have it. Like I said, guys, this is just a very, very fun mod made by Fisher. That definitely changes gameplay a ton, but obviously makes it a ton of fun. Let me get at least one leg. No, one cool mod that I haven't talked about before is Layton, made by Linica. Which, if we hold both triggers and we pull up, we can actually move objects. And if we spawn in an enemy, we can move them as well. So it's basically the force. Now, this does get a bit better when we're using one hand and, let's say, a lightsaber in the other one. So we can actually pretend like we're being a Jedi, but yeah, we can just pick up, move objects, and, well... It works very, very well. Mm -hmm. 
No, one mod I'm sure you guys are familiar with are the Mystic Hands, also made by Lemka, which lets you grow these enormous hands, which you can use to bash enemies, you can use it to pick them up, throw them down, and obviously when you're grabbing an enemy and you slam them on the ground, it does a bit of knockback damage to everything in the vicinity. Same thing for when you make a fist and you slam it into the ground, so why not? You can also punch enemies, or if you're really feeling inclined, give them a nice old uppercut. And we can also grab and, well, move ourselves using the hand like it's part of our body, like it's an extension of ourselves. And obviously, who doesn't love throwing enemies down to their deaths? I mean, this is blade and sorcery after all. These hands make a very excellent addition to when you're on a gigantic map and you're just trying to climb around, move around. It's pretty great. You can also slam both on the same time to create a bit of more knockback. Which, you know, obviously is good for dealing with large groups, and it's just a ton of fun. Now, if you grab a weapon or anything like that, you can easily just stab and pierce an enemy, just like you're holding it with your very own hand, and it works very, very well. And if you're feeling inclined, you could grab a barrel, and it's essentially like you're using brass knuckles to bash and, well, knock enemies back as far as you possibly could. It does a bit of extra knockback. There's a bit of extra damage. Overall, it's pretty great. Now, one very cool thing you can do, aside from, obviously, slapping enemies and throwing them around as much as you could possibly want, or throwing them way out of the arena like that guy, is if you grab an enemy with both hands, you should be able to strangle them and if you slam them into the ground it does even more knockback so if we try that out yep we can do it with both hands and there we go ton of extra knockback and well he's dead now one very very cool mod we cannot forget is obviously the yamato made by genix which allows us to do some pretty cool things, like if an enemy is coming at us, all we have to do is sheath it and unsheath it, and it instantly dismembers them. This wouldn't be a mod. Now, of course, we need to include the Mjolnir because it is one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. I mean, come on. We can fly, it can shoot lightning, how about we stop hitting ourselves? Luckily it doesn't knock me back, but... Let's say we want to play a little bit of baseball. Ooh. Just easily knock him right out of the arena. I wish this lets you grab it with both hands. That would be nice. Oh yeah. Ooh, it gets bloody too. <laughs> now, comparable to the popularity of the Yamato, we have the Thunder Fury Swords, which are probably the most, if not second, most powerful weapon in the entire game. Obviously, colliding with enemies, you know, it electrocutes them, it does the awesome decals, it dismembers them, but it is also permanently imbued, so... We can slice enemies' limbs like butter. I'd highly recommend getting my Spells Plus mod if you don't already have it, which lets you do more awesome things like this. Oh, is there static in between them? Let's try that again. Oh, look at that. When you collide them together, there's lightning between. But yeah, getting Spells Plus just overhauls the lightning abilities just a lot. Now, if we pull the trigger while holding these guys, we can also shoot out the lightning Kamehameha, which makes this, well, in my opinion, the most overpowered mod ever. And come on, just look at that. The center of the weapon looks beautiful. <laughs> Nobody can get even close. Is it overpowered? Yes. Is it extremely awesome and a ton of fun? Yes. I don't really have anything negative to say about it, except it might be too overpowered, but 
you know, it's not really a bad thing, is it? I wonder what happens if we pierce and we pull the trigger. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Can we still get her? I think she's just out of our range. One for each of you. And here you have it. Now, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. What is more powerful, this or the Yamato? They definitely both have very unique abilities. But, I'd like to know what you guys have to say. So let me know in the comments below. So guys, this is a bit of a mod combination for you. But we have, obviously, the expansion jutsu. And what I'm using right now is the eight gates. All we need to do is pull the trigger, we become super fast, we can jump high, and we have a ton of knockback. So, let's say you're fighting against enemies and they just keep getting on your nerves. Well, not for much longer. <laughs> oh, but this isn't even fair. Especially if enemies are far away, you know that you can jump and easily reach them. Oh yeah, just send him fly. Ooh, that's a nice one. You know what? I think you deserve an uppercut. Eight gates uppercut. Oh yeah, he, I, I'm fairly certain she's. Yeah, she's not moving. All right. Now the last mod I have for you all is Ghetto's Laser Eyes, which allows you to remember enemies. So why don't we turn off Time Stop and just shred through them all quickly, because it's a ton of fun. And yes, it does leave decals when hitting them, which makes it look so much better. It, as soon as the laser hits them, they get dismembered. Now, it does get a little bit weird at times. I think that the code could be enhanced to actually kill them when they get dismembered. So, I can talk to Ghetto about doing that, but, I mean, it's awesome. Just look at this. Easily dismember anybody that comes at you. Ooh, we popping off heads, we popping off arms. Let's get the legs, too. Give me the knees. And there we have it. So... I think that is it from this video, guys. If you have suggestions for your top 10, leave them in the comments below. But that is it. So if you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.